Michael Ware reporting for us live on the ground in Baghdad, Iraq. Thank you, Michael. Hello. The wars in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan have undoubtedly, undoubtedly put a severe strain on the American military. Now there is word that the Pentagon is concerned about its ability to respond to additional potential crises. Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr is monitoring this and joins us now. Uh, Barbara, what is being said at the Pentagon uh, regarding the possibility of responding to any third crisis that erupts around the world for the U.S. military? Well, you know, Hala, yes, yet again, another indication on that question of just how stretched thin the U.S. military is right now, Afghanistan, Iraq, and of course a number of other commitments around the world. What is the indication? Well, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Peter Pace, has sent a classified report to the Secretary of Defense and now to Capitol Hill that says the risk is now significant, that's the word, significant of the U.S. military being able to meet its obligation if, in fact, a third crisis now were to break out. This all has led under the law for the requirement now for Secretary Gates to come up with what they call a mitigation plan. Once the risk is significant, the Secretary must report to Congress on what he's doing about it. Uh, what the military says is that they could meet a third contingency, but it would take extra time, extra cost. The troops that they would have on hand would, might not be frontline combat troops. They might not initially be as well trained as the Pentagon would wish. They might not have all the equipment in hand. All of that adds up to this issue now of significant risk. Paula? All right. Thanks very much. Barbara Starr reporting from Washington. Jen.